Good morning, folks. We have a look at space weather, including the large southern sunspot group. We'll talk about ionospheric impact of solar storms, the ozone depletion of solar proton events, and a look at long-term climate and biosphere impacting geophysics. Let's start with our star. Not much in the way of flaring or CME production, especially in Earth's direction. Solar wind is calm along with geomagnetic conditions. The filaments have become a bit unstable here the last day, and we're watching those closely for eruptions. He had a gorgeous one go off the incoming limb here this morning. Hopefully it won't trigger the others. Looking at the sunspots, we see the older groups settled and in mild decay. While we find the big southern grouping has several close-in umbral cores, but the magnetic look shows a pretty good split with only minor mixing of polarities in the middle. If it's going to flare, those polarities will need a greater mixing dynamic. We'll watch that development today. Let's go to the ionosphere, and a good paper here shows how it's impacted during solar storms, to a significant degree. This is important because it's the ceiling of the global electric circuit and the vertical currents that impact clouds and precipitation and storms are most greatly enhanced during the solar influence on that top side of the circuit, the ionosphere. Good paper here diving into the high detail data on the solar proton destruction of ozone by chemical reactions, including a 100% mesospheric depletion in the north in the January 2012 event, which is much higher than expected unless Earth's magnetic field were like weakening or something. Solid paper to close out here on the ozone impact to climate over Earth's history, which of course has major implications for our modern situation where the magnetic field shift is leaving Earth more vulnerable to those modulations. Folks, strictly from a weakening magnetic field perspective, we have the ozone loss potential, which has implications for climate oscillations and shifts. This also lets in more UV irradiance and cosmic rays, which can directly impact life on Earth. Those cosmic rays also trigger volcanic eruptions where the magma is silica rich, and of course, all the dozens of space weather health impacts we've noted get amplified when the sun has a more open shot at Earth. So many important cascading modulations result from a magnetic shift, like the one ongoing now. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.